For our ME153 design project, we decided to redesign the French press. The Polish pole is a design that is an inversion of the French press, where the French press has grounds brewing in hot liquid water and creating coffee. After a certain amount of time for the user that they want their brew, uh, that they want the strength of their brew of their coffee, the user then pushes down the plunger and filters out the grounds of the coffee. These grounds are now stored at the bottom of the cup and they still interact with the coffee that the user is drinking. This causes brew more brewing time of the coffee, causing it to change its strength and the grounds are also stored at the bottom, which can dry up and become very difficult to clean. So the main issue that had to be overcome when using the pulling method was the user drinking coffee grounds. So we went through several different design ideas in order to overcome this. We discussed using a separator or a straw or some sort of filter on the, the, the mouth of the cup. And in the end though, we decided the best method would be using um, an extended spout on the cap. Thus, the liquid could go um, past the basket and not ever touch the grounds. The solution to this that we came up with was to reverse this pushing motion and instead pull up a basket that collected all of the grains and store them at the top of the cup out of the water. Storing the grains at the top of the cup does two things. It makes the whole device easier to clean because you can just remove the lid and you have easy access to all the grains and you can wash those parts very easily. Also, by removing the grains from the liquid completely, you eliminate the chance of the coffee continuing to brew and the coffee getting overly bitter. The way the Polish pole is designed is there is a basket that sits at the bottom of the cup attached to a rod that goes through the lid. On the other end of that rod is a pole handle which doubles as a seal for the lid. To brew the coffee you put the basket at the bottom of the cup, add the water, add your grains, and screw on the lid. After the coffee has had sufficient time to brew, you pull the handle up and the basket filters out all the grains and stores them at the top of the lid. Now this basket has a mesh screen on it to filter out the grains and it also has prongs in the middle of it that are going to attach onto the lid holding it out of the water. These prongs also hold the basket onto the rod when the basket is not attached to the uh, lid. So when the basket attaches to the lid, it is free to move from this rod, which can then be pushed down back to the bottom of the cup and is out of the way. The flap is designed so that it keeps the grains out of the drinking spout when the basket is at the bottom of the cup. Now, only once this basket has passed the flap will it open and allow liquid to pass through into the drinking spout. The structural analysis testing that we did for the Polish pole consisted of three main parts. The rod, the basket, more specifically, the prongs on the basket, and the handle. As you see, the flap is closed and will open when the locking mechanism of the basket engages. Alright, here we go. And, now show the flap. and then the flap is now open and the consumer is now able to drink their coffee. And then once they're done, they can easily remove this basket, pull it down for easy cleaning.